So it's now 12 years old and it's getting a little bit rusty in places. So we're going to attack it with a wire brush and we're going to spray it with Aqua Steel, which is a rust converter. And we'll see how it looks after we have treated it. And then I think I'll probably underseal it as well. Belt and braces, right? Let's have a look at the rusty bits. Okay, we have the typical Subaru rusting on this front cross member. This bit, it's still solid, it's just a surface rust and the bit where they've, adjust, we'll say adju adjusted it to fit the Hayward Scott headers and obviously the heat off them isn't helping so we'll give that a brush back and spray it. But there's not like a little bit there. It's nothing major, it's mostly just surface and we'll see down the other end in a minute. But everything else actually looks pretty decent on there. I'm surprised. Right, to the back. Back end's looking not too bad, it's all just surface. You know, just on the... There's nothing, it's all still solid, nothing majorly wrong. Differential goods there, certainly do with a bit of love. It's looking a bit tatty. No, oh, get it all brushed up and sprayed. Still, looks uh, not too bad, actually. Our product of choice for underneathing the Subaru, underneathing, undersealing, and rust converting is this Aqua Steel rust converter. I should point out that I bought this, we were not given any of this for trying, so two and a half litres of this cost you thirty-four ninety-nine from Amazon. It says shake well, so as you can see, I'm shaking it. Well this is used for underseal, so I imagine it should come out of here quite happily. Ah, let's try it. I think this might actually work quite well in a a spray gun. You know, a, a normal spray gun with like a a primer sprayer. Because it's quite thick. Okay, I've been blasting away with it. You can see it goes this nice blue-white colour when you spray it on. I'll give you a shot of me spraying the bits that I've missed. Like that bit. And then that bit's got a bit of a coating, but could do with more. Okay, some spraying action. I think I'll take these plastic trims off and do under there as well, do it semi-properly. Right, let's whip them off. So, the under tray, well, the two halves of, well it's only got two halves of an under tray, it's not got a real under tray. I held on with, well, by now are three rusty 10mm bolt things and a variety of trim clips. But look at the weight, see even you get when you tip all of this gravel out. There's got to be at least oh, 500 grams of gravel there. Right, you want to see the, the underside. So, it's actually looking not too bad. Again, that's it looks rusty, but that's just surface rust under there. And that looks all right. It's all still solid. Oh, oh blown out. No, I'm impressed with that. We'll give that a rub down, well, a sand with the sand, a brush with a wire brush, and then a spray. Okay, we have scraped, sanded, blasted. I keep spraying bits, just used it up, but I'm impressed. That aqua steel stuff has actually turned the metal into lovely shiny black metal. Well, it's so, so shiny, in fact, that you can't see anymore. Oh, it's hard to show shiny black. Granted there are still some rusty bits, but it's, we got the vast majority of it. Oh, let's try and get further under. Oh. Well. That's now shiny black. I should point out this isn't painted, this is the aqua steel going from milky white to well black. That's it's good to colour as soon as I can see. Let's. Whoa. Whoa. So, ow, I just hit my head. 
That's the diff housing, which was absolutely rusty brown, rusty horrible, and now it's shiny black, showing the reflection of daylight. And still some blue bits drying. But I'm, I'm impressed. And then tomorrow, once this is properly dried, I will hit it with underseal. It's looking good. Not bad for a 12 year old car now. I'm impressed. Aquaseal. I'm giving it the V performance. Two thumbs up. I'm going to attempt spraying the Tetra Seal with the Sealy Gun, mostly because I have a lot of it. We'll see if it sprays. Well, it's sprayed bitumen paint, so. Oh, this doesn't even look as thick as bitumen paint. Let's see if we can get it in it. It's pretty thick, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get spraying. I've jammed a piece of cardboard up against the exhaust as I don't want to spray wax oil all over the manifold as it will smoke and burn off. Here we go. Well, it's finally stopped raining long enough that we can uh, put the covers back on. Uh, great. Well, that wouldn't have uh, hurt the wax, wax seal, under steel, wax stuff too much. No. Nope. It never goes fully set, set, but uh, yuck, great. Well, we've got a good film over the entire underneath of the gunner. Great, no contrast now. It's all nice and black. You've got some bits of the exhaust. Try not to do that. But it's all nice and ready for winter. Right, let's put these under tray back on then. Each half of the under tray is held on with seven or eight trim clips, which a lot of them will snap, the heads will snap off on them, but I would highly suggest buying a new packet of them. I think they're not expensive to get them on eBay and Amazon, those places. There's also two bolts, like that kind of bolt that I've got a screw head and a 10 head, well you certainly used to. Two of them and one screw bolt. 10 mil, I think that's a 10, or it used to be a 10, and a screwed thread. You will more than likely snap these off in the body, but as long as you've got the trim clips, they'll hold the panels on. I'm going to replace these with bolts of the correct size and some washers. Okay, both under trays are on, like that. I've got a new bolt in there, all copper greased up so it doesn't rust. That one snapped off, but the trim clips will hold everything else on, and everything else is wax oiled and aqua steeled. And it's looking pretty good in here. So, hopefully, that'll keep some of the salt off, or not salt off, but help stop the salt rusting it in the winter. Right, that's for Subaru rust converted and undercoated ready for winter. If you like this and you'd like to see more, please comment and subscribe. See you later, guys!